Hi everyone, this is Michael from EasyQuickWebsites.com. If you use a lot of images for your website, one of the most time-consuming tasks can be editing and fixing those photos so they look just right. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a software tool from InPixio called PhotoClip to speed up your photo processing and make things a lot easier for you. PhotoClip contains three modules. A photo editor, a photo eraser to remove unwanted objects in your pictures, and a photo cutter that allows you to either cut out the parts of a photo you want to save or remove unwanted backgrounds. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is in PhotoClip to use the photo eraser to remove an unwanted object in a photo, use the photo cutter to remove the background of a photo, and how to use the photo editor to easily improve your photos. First, let's look at magically removing unwanted objects. So here we are in the photo eraser, and we have a nice picture of a duck, but his buddy here is in the way. And we also have some foliage at the top here, we'd like to get rid of that. So all we need to do here is click on the lasso tool here, and just draw an outline around the object you want to erase. Okay, so then you just use the eraser tool here and click the erase button and the other duck disappears. Now we just do the same thing with the foliage up at the top. And like magic it disappears. The photo cutter allows you to crop and cut up your photos as well as remove unwanted backgrounds. So here in the photo cutter, let's say in this photo we want to get rid of the background. All you need to do is go to the cutout section and select the tool called mark the areas to erase. And then you just mark the areas of the background you want to get rid of like this. We'll go and mark this side. And then do over here. And there you go, really quick and easy. Now if you need to, you can fine tune it a bit. If you make a mistake, or the system doesn't quite get things right, you can use the tool called Mark the Areas to Keep, so that part doesn't get erased. Then up on the top, you have the options to save or print the image. So now let's take a look at the photo editor component of PhotoClip. Most of the controls are over here on the right side. First you have presets where you can get some really cool effects for your images. Then you have your cropping options. Next you have your adjustment controls. Then you have your linear gradient controls. After that you have the glasses icon you can click on if you want to sharpen your image. You can also remove noise or haze from your photos. You also have controls for color balance and effects like film grain or vignetting. And you can also add a frame to your image. And next you have the option to add some cool light texture effects.
And lastly, you can add text to your photos. And again, up on top here, you have controls to save or print your image. So as you can see, PhotoClip is super easy to use. For example, I use Photo Elements a lot for my photos. PhotoClip is definitely easier to actually dive in and work with right away. Obviously, professional photographers are going to want to use an Adobe Photoshop for more precise controls. But for most website owners, PhotoClip is ideal for image editing. If you want to check out PhotoClip, I've included a link in the video description that includes a coupon to get 50% off. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you so desire. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and take care.